Got my RPM meter. It has uh, two different things it reads out, the RPM and the TPR. The TPR is the triggers per revolution, which simply is um, the number of beam breaks of my meter per revolution, so it can calculate accurately calculate the uh, revolutions. Here is the beam here. Needs a little bit of work, but it's just a mock-up for now. So I have two wires. One of them comes up here to a laser pointer, and it shines over at a receiver. It's a photodiode that's set up in a circuit on the board here as a phototransistor, and it basically toggles um, every single time you break the beam. Break it with the phone here. It sets off that indicator light, but it's also have it also has a voltage change that um, triggers the Arduino, um, the interrupt to let it know that there was a um, a trigger. So depending on the number of triggers there are in the revolution, it can calculate the correct RPM. So I have it set to 33 right now because I have. Uh, 32 spokes in one valve going around the inside of the tire and then I also set something up where let's find it I have one single trip point on the outside of the wheel so if I hold the meter out here and let it break the beam then I can set the TPR to only one and it should calculate an RPM that seems to make sense and then if I go in the inside of the wheel and it uh, gets triggered 33 times per revolution then I can get an accurate count there of the RPM. So let's check it out. Give the wheel a spin here. So it's set to 33 revolutions per minute and it also um, is averaging so it's not instantaneous but it can be a little bit more accurate over time. So we're getting about 40 and it's going back down now. Fire out that there. Anyways, you can see that it seems to be calculating something that probably is accurate. Now let me change the triggers per revolution down to one. And give it a good spin. And now we'll just go on the outside of the wheel. can see the LED toggling there a little bit. Getting about the same reading. So if I was to spin it really fast and go on the inside of the wheel, it's thinking that there's only one, it thinks that there's revolutions happening really quickly and then my number is going to jump up like crazy. So it's kind of neat, you can set the number of triggers instead of having to go in and change pro programming or somehow change the number of triggers physically on the unit. Um, I have it set right now in programming to go up to 50 different uh, triggers per revolution. So I've had the meter go up to 20,000 RPM with a uh, tiny motor. So it's a pretty cool unit and uh, just want to show you guys.